Last week, I shared how to turn your digital piano into a grand piano by using VST technology or Contact 5 software. Today is an extension of that video, so if you haven't watched that, please go watch them before this because it can get confusing. Links down below. Also, don't forget to check out my photography portfolio and my Instagram, JYJ Photography. Links down below as well. Nonetheless, let's start with the Logic Pro tutorial, beginning with the intro. Let's dig in straight to Logic Pro. First of all, press Logic Pro, and if there's no window showing up, which is less likely going to be, however, if it doesn't pop up, press File and New. And Windows should pop up, and you want to create an empty project. Give it a couple seconds for them to load, and once it loads, there should be another window popping up, and my computer is being really slow. There we go. So now, from this, you want to use a an instrument plugin. We don't want to use external MIDI or USB device because we are not letting Logic, Logic Pro being the host software, we're letting it contact being a host. So we want to use a plugin. Your output should be this, which is the default basic output for your computer speakers. If you have any other one, that's up to you. And instrument is obviously going to be Contact 5. It's under AU Instruments, Native Instruments, Contact 5, and Stereo, or other whatever output you have. Press Create, and you're almost halfway done. You want to go to your contact file, which is under Mixers, right here, this button. Go up a little bit, and you're gonna say Input Contact, double click, and then you're going to see your actual Contact 5 interface, which is same as if you were to just create, open up Contact 5 through this. So you want to open up the instruments you desire, in this case, the Grandeur, and once it loads, and you're basically good to go from this point. Now, if I play a little bit, you can, here's the output volume gauge. If you play a little bit, you see it's being played. It's getting a gain. So now all you gotta do is press this red button and give a little play. So once I press the pedal, you see it's re reading the pedal automatically for me the little bars and I'm gonna stop it real quick and I'm gonna go back to the basic and I'm going to play a little bit of song so let's say river flows in you and press space to stop and to save this all you gotta do is file Export one region as audio file. So this is all my previous recordings I've done. Name it. And whatever setting you desire. Me, I always use 32-bit AIFF for the best possible outcome. The Logic Pro can be a little difficult in terms of finding where to look for if there's an issue or a problem. So if you guys have any issues, please let me know in the comments down below. I will try to help you guys in the best of my knowledge. Anyways, I hope this two part tutorial was more than enough for you guys to play, record and share to your friends and family with a beautiful sound sampling from a grand piano from your favorite piano, whether it's Steinway, Yamaha, Kawaii, you name it. I think that's our next future in-home piano experience by putting great sound sampling into digital piano instead of upright acoustics because I don't think upright acoustics are worth spending big dollars anymore because look at what we just did basically. We can create grand piano acoustic from inside a house that easily. 
So anyways, enough with the chat. Don't forget to check out my Jaja Photography portfolio and Instagram. Please visit them, like them. If you're generous enough, please purchase a print and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Probably a piano cover. I'm working on one of them. I've been working so long and I haven't really made a cover of it. So that's coming soon. Please stay tuned. Take care, guys. See you in the next one.